Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. This is V here, Pans behind the camera today. Hello. And welcome to the 25 Days of Christmas series. Now, we're starting off with a pretty simple recipe, and I have some herbs, which this is fresh from Pam's garden. Yeah. It's rosemary, and I have potatoes here. And I'm gonna show you a really quick recipe, but it's really, really flavorful. Now before we head on over, I want you to go down below, comment, and tell us if potatoes are a big part of your family holidays. We'd love to know because potatoes are a big part of the Kindred Vegan, so we want to know how it is with you and your family around Christmas time with potatoes. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Super easy recipe. I have some boiled potatoes. These are ready. Um, I have preheated my oven to 400, 400 degrees, and it's warming up. And while that warms up, I'm gonna show you this quick way. So I have some herbs here. I have some rosemary. This is fresh rosemary. You can use dry rosemary. And I have these potatoes that I'm gonna chop up. And you can use any potatoes you have for this. I just have the red skinned ones, so that's what I'm using. I'm gonna chop these up. And um, the thing with anything you're baking or cooking is that you want to keep them pretty much the same size. So it cooks or bakes evenly. And you want a good surface area for it as well so the heat hits it right. Now V, could you use um, uncooked potatoes with this? You could. You could bake uncooked potatoes. Um, it would just be a different temperature in the oven. Would it take longer? It will. Maybe? It will. Because um, it's, it's not cooked, so it's going to have to go through the series of cooking to get ready. And um, it is, it is, uh, it's not that hard. You would do the, pretty much the same process. Chop them up, cut them up, and um, you just leave them in the oven a little while longer. I just, I just have, always have... Uh, cook potatoes on hand so yeah it's just easier to deal with it that rosemary smells it's like it's very yeah, strong you can yeah. really smell it yeah and um what i'm doing today is um i'm gonna toss the potatoes in some uh rosemary salt pepper and um i'm gonna put some balsamic vinegar on it um, just, you know, to give it that, um, I feel it's going to give it the perfect flavor. But, uh, if you don't have balsamic vinegar, you can use, uh, I would say lemon. Lemon would be fine. Mm -hmm. And, and it's just, I have this balsamic on hand and it's, I feel like it's going to give it a good flavor. Now I'm going to take my rosemary and easy way to, uh, get your leaves off rosemary. They're really like pine cones. So you kind of have to. Pull like it pine, the opposite way, like yeah. pine needles? Yeah, pine needles. You have to pull it the opposite way to get it all off. And the more I peel it, the more it smells I know, it's so gonna, good. This whole house is going to smell like rosemary. <laughs> so you just, you just peel the leaves off. And the tops are, if you didn't see that, see the very tippy tops do not have, they're the, kind of, a, yeah. the stem is really soft. Yeah. So... Now, rosemary is an herb that if you do overuse it, it tends to give um, a soapy flavor. So you don't want to go overboard. And if you're using dried rosemary, go for like a table, less than a tablespoon. Probably half a tablespoon will do good. So I'm going to chop these up. All right, now my rosemary is chopped. I'm gonna put it on top. And I'm gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper. Uh, About a half a teaspoon of yeah, pepper. Yeah, yeah. And probably a teaspoon of, well, half a teaspoon of uh, salt. Yeah, that was a half to three quarters. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put just a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is toss everything up first. Break down my potatoes. And I have a two teaspoon measure, two tablespoon measure here. I'm gonna put two tablespoons in here. 
And I know this is a seasoned balsamic, but could yes. you use any balsamic? Any, any is fine. So you could just go to your grocery store and find a good balsamic yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for a little bit more, probably another tablespoon. I'm making a big mess. That's all right. So three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And then you want to spread it out. The whole house is going to smell like this. Yeah. <laughs> it smells so good. <laughs> you want to spread it out. See, so um, everything gets a good, um, good, he good heat on it so it can crisp up. I'm going to wash my hands and then put these in the oven. All right, so these will go in the oven. I'll start at 15 minutes and then I'll come back. And it's and at what, 400 degrees? 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And then stir them up? Yeah. And mix them up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So it's going in, in the middle. I'm putting it in the middle, not on the top layer, on the middle layer, so that it's getting proper heat from up and the bottom. So just so you know, that's the reason I'm setting it in the middle. Okay. All right, so my 10 minutes are up. I'm going to pull the potatoes out. Ooh, they're smelling good. Yeah, they smell really good. See and the steam. They're not done yet. As you can see, they're not crispy. So I'm just going to toss them around. I'm just going to toss it around. And I'm going to set it back in. And this time, because it's not cooked yet, I'm going to set it in for 15 minutes. So I'm going to set these back in for a good 15 minutes. So my rosemary potatoes are ready. And let me tell you something. It smells really, really good. It does. And here you have it. Let me see. They're piping hot. Oh, they look so good. It smells Where's so the good. Rest of them? But look at that. It looks so good. Yeah. So okay. quick and easy recipe. Um, if you want to make this 50-50, cut up a cucumber on the side and have it. And trust me, this is not macking on flavor, so it's not something you're going to be missing. But um, while you're here, head on over to kindredvegans.com so you can get our monthly newsletter. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye for now.